What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for episode 17 of our Madden 22 Philadelphia Eagles franchise rebuild, and today, just a solo, I was getting ready to actually record a double hitter, but it's getting kind of late, and I'm going to be honest, as the kids say today, that new Halo multiplayer is bussin', had a great time playing that Halo multiplayer, uh, I don't know if you guys have checked it out, that's, has no relation to this video, but uh, I just want to play the Baltimore game. In the fact that we have kind of, at least for right now, we're at a point where I'm defectoring the play calling on the defensive side of the ball to my coordinators. We're going to act as Kellen Moore and more so pull the strings on offense. Uh, it is, is, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a quicker pay. I'll say this, depending on how quickly we get through this Ravens game, maybe we'll have, a, maybe I'll squeeze in that Dallas game week six. I have my doubts, but I never know. Uh, it's a big time matchup here against Baltimore. They're one and three. But we know that they are a very talented squad. They have Lamar Jackson, who is, you know, let's just QB spy him the entire game. We're not going to let him beat us with his legs. Uh, looking at, actually, we actually have the media to talk about Mr. Lamar Jackson. And I think the biggest thing, we got to negate his scrambling. Make sure that, you know, hold him, hold, beat the Ravens and hold Lamar Jackson under 75 yards rushing. A tire defense gets plus five play rack, so they've done their homework on how to contain Lamar Jackson, so I'm excited to see that all play out there. Uh, for the offense here, it's actually going to heavily rain, which definitely wants to... Uh, I mean, we'll have to commit to running the ball. And we've got away from that the last couple weeks. You know, with, with Miles Sanders' surprise you know, training injury, and then last week it just it, we've been prioritizing you know, throwing the ball to Devontae Smith and really utilizing the arm of Zach Wilson. But th what better week than now than on the road against Baltimore in the rain to just let's feed Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders, let him tote the rock a whole bunch of times. Weekly strategy against Baltimore, so we got to figure out how to stop Lamar Jackson. And we definitely want to just stop the run. They're not... What? Contain QB scramble, and here's Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, I think I'm going to worry more so about Lamar Jackson. And honestly, I think for this, I, I want to stop the outside run. I feel like that's where Lamar's going to get you on the QB keepers. He's going to bounce outside the tackles. Uh, offensively, how do we want to attack them? Well, they're pretty good at turning the ball over. Uh, I think throwing it medium looks fairly good. But I mean, again, oh my God, we got to run. What is this? Justin Tucker is their top defensive threat running it inside? I don't think so. Um... Let's let's just eh. no. Let's do running inside. I don't, we don't really have a whole lot of pet run plays anyway that bounce to the outside. Let's get our weekly training. Hopefully, a full, healthy bus load of players. I assume they would just take the bus. I don't know. I'm not super up to date with my uh, geography in America, but we had no injuries, which is very good. We have some upgrades. Guys that excelled this week in training, they busted their ass. We have Davion Taylor, who in real life right now for the Eagles, actually is kind of catching on the last couple weeks. He's might, you know, last two weeks, along with Avante Maddox, in real life, is probably one of the better defenders on the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm glad we still have Davion Taylor on the squad as a developmental option. We have Jacoby Stevens here, who was, I was really hyped about that pick when we drafted him late out of LSU. Also, like another guy I kind of want to develop. And if there's ever injuries, maybe we rely on it. But Zach Wilson... Here we go, man. This is our first upgrade for Zach Wilson. And, I mean, we got to get him into a scheme fit for Kellen Moore. That's that's the long-term play. We're going to, obviously, there's a big jump there in overall to his scheme fit overall. But we're going to keep working on it. Plus two awareness, plus one throw under pressure. Not the best abilities that we're going to, you know, earn for Zach Wilson. But, you know, really the big one is throw power. And with him already at 95 throw power, it's probably going to be few and far between that we get that throw power upgrade. And, uh, the, and any upgrade like that helps. So I think really the last thing for this week right now, there's nothing to with scouting uh, too, too much. I was looking through it already. No players over 30%, so I can't even start to like predict my draft board. Let's just let's just look where the Ravens are at here in year two. What kind of changes? Did they make some big moves? Obviously, they didn't win the Super Bowl last year. So you're going to want to see, you know, how aggressive were they in trying to keep keep pursuing that Super Bowl. So Lamar Jackson, 95 X-Factor still. They got J.K. Dobbins, RB1. Hollywood Brown, Sammy Watkins, Rashad Bateman. They brought over... Like, what was that, three or four game Eagle legend, Travis Fulham from the 2019 season. We got Mark Andrews there, Ronnie Stanley. They got Isaac Sayomalu, formerly of the Eagles. Did they sign anybody? They got Kamoko Ture from the Colts. He's not even a starter. Matt Abuke there. Was that their first round pick? Charles Pirine. 
If not, he's one of their better picks. He probably was a first round pick. Brandon Williams, PJ Hall, again. They got Dennis Gardak, who is the white Lawrence Taylor, if you remember that. Actually, I'm a little nervous now. Gardak is very good. Patrick Queen's still there. Odafe Owe, S tier athlete, was huge for us in Pinkslips. They got Humphrey, Peters, Teron Johnson. That, that wouldn't have been cheap to bring him over from the Buffalo Bills. So there's, there's a signing there in the secondary, but he's out this game due to injury which is a big help for our offense. Deshaun Elliott at safety, Chuck Clark, Justin Tucker, Jack Fox. They got the superstar punter from the, oh, he only has a start up. Might have regressed. But I think literally the biggest, um, it's Lamar. It's the Lamar show, but it looks like like the biggest upgrade that the Ravens got last offseason was a punter. So I, I think that's manageable. That's absolutely manageable. So without further ado, as we look to get above 500 here, Philadelphia off an epic week four victory. Last second touchdown scramble from Zach Wilson over the Rams. Looking to carry all that momentum here for week number five against the one and three Baltimore Ravens. All right, let's get this chip. This that Philly devil pulling up and I don't need a rental. Quick pitch to the outside. It's a house call C4 special. Take a check and we run it up. Got Quays heading up the sideline when it's do or die. We run it up. Ain't trying to flex, but it's high time that the Eagle fly. Face of my city, for Philly, we reppin'. It's all about green when we steppin'. I made up my mind at the day that I die, but they really gon' call me a legend. You know that it's now, the time is upon us. The chip on my shoulder is halfway to heaven. They ex in the south for years, but tell them all how. I turn the X to a weapon. This that free bird life. This that fly, eagle fly. We might tear down and build it back just to show us by design. Hey, this that free bird life. We ain't go without a fight. To go tell dad is watching the NY. Better watch their back as I'm. All right, let's do this, man. We're going to control the offense. How, uh, actually, when we, I'm going to make it slow. We got to, we got to stop. We start on our three. We got to go 97 yards. I'm going to play it slow because I do want to still call the defense as it happens. So if we get a big time sack, interception, Ravens get a big time play. We can kind of react accordingly. So we'll make sure we get that on the next opportunity. Let's start here on the three with our game plan. Pin deep. Hell of a punt from Fox. Oddly enough, we kind of chirped them for making like their big signing was a punter. And here we are pinning us on the three yard line in a terrible weather game. But this is going to have to be a big time rushing attack for Miles Sanders, who also in the next, probably in the next episode, maybe at the end of this episode, needs to get a new contract with the Philadelphia Eagles. Stick with the run. You know, a team you really like running against. They got some big time. Oh, there we go. Get to the outside. They got some big time run to finish. Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams. Those guys are absolute monsters against the run. Ooh, second and six again to Dallas Goddard. A missed tackle from the Baltimore Ravens as we get up to the 40. I really think we can get a quick slant off here to Goddard. It's probably going to be our best plan of attack. But they have the safety sit on it. Is that Owe? That is a tough assignment. That's like the worst matchup possible for someone like Jordan Mailata. Where Jordan Mailata is like, I, you know, just test me strength for strength. Going up against smaller speed rushers, that's where a guy that's 6'9", 400 pounds, probably got to struggle here. Got to grab their Devontae at that point. We're just, you know, good stand from the Ravens, Steve. We got to punt it. Let's see what we got. We got Fletcher Cox, a five-yard sack loss on Lamar Jackson. Fourth down, doesn't get it. Well, third down, doesn't get it. Fourth down, forces the punt, and we're back on offense. My God, this punter's amazing. Set first drive on the three, second drive on the six. Luckily enough, I feel very confident in our rushing attack today. There we go. Nice for our first down. Great blocking up front. Another well-blocked play. And we're getting, you know, he's he's getting to the second level untouched. Feels like at least one every three runs. He's a little bit tired, though, so we'll take a little bit of the pressure off him. Quez on a slant. I mean, we are due for a Quez breakout game. It's, it needs to be said. And that is just a not accurate pass. But Goddard. So rely on your big man. Safe passes when it's raining like this. Weather like this, just, you're asking for bad things to happen if you throw 50-50 balls. Wow, untouched. It is to all the White Lords Taylor. Dennis Gardak comes through untouched. All right, defense out on the field. First and 10, a throwaway from Lamar Jackson. Second and 10, 14 yard pass to Mandrews at tight end. 
That's probably going to be their best receiving threat. Fulham, revenge game for him against Philadelphia Eagles. Goes for 12 yards. Three yard yards from J.K. Dobbins, second and seven. Uh, J.K. Dobbins moves the chains, gets the first down. They are just, you know, I mean, you know, looking pretty good for containing Lamar Jackson. Third and one, he goes to Hollywood Brown for seven yards into the red zone. Another seven yard pass. Hollywood Brown up to the nine. Two yard run from Lamar Jackson. Third and one. And a seven-yard touchdown pass to Mark Andrews. Let's go equalize. They go booby. They go booby! All right, we got Smith, Quez, the rookie, Scott. Michigan State, what can he do? It's going to be like one of those games where, like, they... Oh, no, let's go. Right there, Devontae. Don't have to trust the unknown commodity. Let's go with the home... Name, brand, Devontae Smith, first down. Again, man, just got to stick with the run. It's, you want to throw the ball, you see, you know, you get that itch. Of like, man, we can hit Quez deep. We got 95 throw power. We are 2-2. Two and two. We need to do what's best in terms of winning. And right now, that's just continuing to pound the rock. Even right now. Look, all passes, uh-uh. See, that's why I'm calling the shots now on this offense. Second and goal on the four. I might run it three straight times, honestly. We're getting two yards of carry here in the red zone. Why not? Two more yards. That is going to be a touchdown. Let's go. We'll just do dive. At least see what the look looks like. They are they are playing the run. But so are we. Untouched. Booby Sanders. And we tie this one up. Hopefully our defense under new play calling for about a minute 20 can keep this at seven for the Ravens, and we can go into the second half looking to regain the lead. So let's see what we can do. Jake Elliott makes the kick, yada, 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 good boot. First and 10, Levante Maddox gets a PBU. Second and 10, 10 yard penalty on right tackle, Jawan James, second and 20, Trey Flowers, PBU. Third and 20, six yard run from Gus Bus, and they punt it. We're gonna have a chance on our 47. I think there's points to be had. Right there, let's go out the backfield, Mr. Miles Sanders. We got, we got timeouts. Not worried. Oh, come on, Quez. This is a slant for you, buddy. This is a slant for you, Quez, to remind everybody that you're an absolute beast, and he's absolutely covered. Scramble, first down. Could have got more. Don't want to get hit. 13 yards. Won't get too greedy. You block. Take the three. In a 14 wind. This is horrific weather. It is up. And it's not pretty. But it is a lead. Okay, we got third and nine. Devontae, that's where we want to get it. Ooh, Quez. Just move the chains and he drops it. Big hit from Harrison. God, I need Quez to be making that play, man. I'm... Not everything's going to be all peachy. There's going to be disappointments. And I have been disappointed in Quez Watkins here this season. I feel like there's been times trying to make plays, and he hasn't done it. A quick 3 0 from the Eagles, not the way we want it to start, and uh, not the way they want to start. We get a PBU for Darius Slay, but then a 28 yard pass to Hollywood Brown, and they're cooking. Second and seven, 13 yards to Hollywood Brown, picking on, I'm going to guess, Steven Nelson right now. Second and 10, six yard pass for Rashad Bateman. Third down coming up, third and four, and a drop from Fulham. The pressure got to him. And they make the 39-yard field goal. Justin Tucker, this one is tied up at 10. All this should be doing, too. Let's run it again. Setting up a filthy play-action bomb. Miles Sanders ducks under the tackle, and he's in to Raven territory. Everything's going to be a, you know, Hail Mary. Third and three. Empty the backfield. Not the best strategy, but you got a QB that can run. It's not that bad. Big time gainer, 43 on the yard on the day for Zach Wilson on the ground. First down in the red zone. Some runs. Got to remember, Devontae Smith leads the NFL eight touchdowns. This is where we want to work them. And there's touchdown number nine, baby, as the Eagles get their lead. 
Extra point pending, but it's looking pretty good to be 17-0 as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Look at that, man. It's just, it's almost telepathy. They know where they're each, it's that chemistry. You can't teach that, man. You got something special. All right, first and 10 for Baltimore, and it is a five-yard penalty against Fletcher Cox. Probably jumped off sides. Three-yard run from Lamar Jackson. Gets the first down there with a 14-yard pass to Mark Andrews. Five-yard run from Lamar Jackson. Still doing pretty good on that 75-yard rushing yard goal that we had against Lamar. And what do we got here? Third, oh, no, second and seven. Eight yards, Mark Andrews kind of cooking us over the middle. Eight-yard run by J.K. Dobbins. Puts him on the 13, and there's a 13-yard touchdown pass to Rashad Bateman. And this one is tied up. Okay, this used to be known as the Jalen Rager money play. It's going to be the Quez Watkins money play. Come on. B's always open. B's always open. And we hit him in stride. Steps out of bounds, because that's just kind of the year that Quez Watkins is having. But still a massive gainer for one of our go-to passing plays. So I'm going to be careful. Gardex out there. Okay. He's insane. I think he has two sacks, three TFLs. He's like a 73 overall. Third and nine. Right now, all the momentum with the Baltimore Ravens. Gotta get a big play here. Hopefully the line holds up, which it does not. Free runner right up the middle. Nothing was open. Patrick Queen gets the sack, and we're going to have to punt it. All right, first and 10, nine-yard run, J.K. Dobbins. Uh, I'm not liking the fact that they are... You know, while, while the score, as I hit a huge pass to Hollywood Brown, 17 points is good for my defense. If I was out there playing, this is going to be 30. But, you know, I don't like I don't like this, like, anytime we score, they score type rhythm that this game just kind of fell into. Second and eight, seven-yard run, J.K. Dobbins, third and one on the six. And we finally get a big-time stop. If I'm them, they might go for this. But given the weather, they take the safe option, get the lead, three points by a Justin Tucker field goal, 230. Let's see if we can get another game-winning drive here at a Zach Wilson in back-to-back -back weeks. There we go. There we go. Zach Wilson with the wheels. Third and inches. Time to give it to y'all. Bluey Sanders, who has not been stopped. I think they, they, they have had one or two good run plays, but for the most part, and there's a fucking hold. Please don't be Mylotta. It seems like any time we get an offensive holding penalty, it's on Jordan Mylotta. Jordan Howard? What? What are you even doing out there? Third and six. Let's go stick. I'm going to have to just have to cheese a little bit and give Devontae a chance on the slant. But I am looking at Quez. But we are able to hit Devontae. It's the reliable hands, man. Going the two-minute warning. Almost in Ravens territory. Feeling somewhat confident. Actually, we'll go to Quez Watkins. Burner timeout. Come back to the ball! Come back to the fucking ball! I will never understand that. Like, in what world? We're a poorly coached team, if that's the scenario, right? Everyone knows you come back to the ball. You just, you just got to come back to the ball. And wow! Oh, just saved the game for them. We had a whoever Y was was y, I think it was Devonte Smith. I can't believe we just missed that. Fourth and ten. Hopefully, there's ice in the veins for Zach Wilson. I can't believe we just, we didn't hit that. Okay, we're gonna have uh, Miles Sanders pass pro. I, don't, I wonder if we can get Dallas Goddard here to chip. No, we can't. Well, I mean, whatever, man. We got this. Is gonna have to go to Quez, I think.
It's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Jalen Rank. Um, 17 points. Not good. Not. I mean, the weather was. That was always a tough game, man. Against a run team with Lamar Jackson in the rain. Uh, passing offense. I mean, it wasn't bad. Hell, I think that OA. You know where he jumped up and swatted that. That was a, a excellent play. Since like the those game play just from me not playing defense. Like, when they made plays and stops on on the defensive side for the Ravens, like I ain't mad at that. That was a that was a hell of a play from Owe. Uh, to get the pass and then just J Jalen Rager doing Jalen Rager things. Fifty three yards. Zach Wilson buck sixty one and a touchdown. Miles Sanders did a hell of a job. Uh, Devontae, fifty six yards and a touchdown. Dallas Goddard, Quez. Who, you know, hey, he doesn't get out of the scot free. He had a bad drop, but that is. That's going to be tough for Jalen Rager to come. Like, I'm thinking, you know, it's one of those things. Short memory. What are we? Because, like, that, that week that Jalen Rager had the dev trade, we force fed him. He had 100 some yards. The last two weeks, he's done nothing. And that crucial drop, like, I'm almost thinking, like, do we give Benson, that rookie wide receiver out of Central Florida, a chance? Told up the preseason just to see if we get something else because we're not getting it. Ah, I don't know. It's, it's like one of those things we punished Jalen Rager. That was not acceptable by Jalen Rager. But just two weeks ago, he had a hell of a game. So I don't know. The defense was, let's see what they did, man. Five tackles, Darius Slay, five for Bush. No TFLs, one sack from Fletcher Cox. That's, you know, in a game where it's a downpour, you're playing like hurricane conditions, clearly the other team wants to run the ball and you're not getting any TFLs. You're not getting any negative plays behind their line of scrimmage from the rushing attack. That's that's not great. Um, and as you can see, just, God damn, man. What did that say? 1720 and look at this there's some sort of collusion going on it says we won the game 23 13 what why is there an alternate game going on underground some sort of reality are we playing are we in rick and morty and the fallout from the lost miles sanders did earn a skill point to bum up to an 89 overall he's one of the premier backs in the nfl had a very good game you can hold his head high you get an acceleration break tackle two carrying it's acceleration up to 94, so that's elite burst. We feel it every time we can get, you know, past our line of scrimmage. Look at the gameplay. Do we have to win? Like, I couldn't remember, like, we. I know we held them under 75 yards. We just didn't get the win. What do we got here? Never lost, never hurts, yada, yada, yada. All defense players have minus five play rec going into the next game, huh? And what about the rain game? This was the one. They were like, hey, we're not going to let them... Uh, Run all over us with Lamar Jackson. Do we get any boost for at least? Oh, what? It's just all in all like a terrible week. Good news. Silver lining is that we now have 22 staff points. So we can get the last uh, specialized focus training. Yes, sir. And I think, who did we say we're going to give that to? Was it Mylotta? Was it? Hmm. Global check. Let's go to the next week. We got Dallas. We fall to two and three, which has us sitting at last place in the NFC East, unfortunately. Uh, but they close this one out with that upgrade. I think, again, let's just see who, who who deserves. Who's our best three? Quez, Amos, Hughes, Zach Wilson, Jordan Mailata. Don't know if it's Benson. I feel like there might be... It's Devontae... I mean, you could get Devontae, but the fact that he's getting so much work, like, in-game... Makes me think maybe we don't need to have him there. Maybe players that are just tougher to develop, like Dickerson, could be worth it. Josh Sweat could be worth it. Um, Devin Bush could get more reps. Vontae Maddox could get more reps. Hmm, that's interesting. I think... Uh, I'm, I'm going to go in terms of like what player I need to get better. And we need to get more out of I'm, I'm going to get that last spot right now there to Josh Sweat. Utilize that star depth trait as well. So unfortunately, couldn't bring you guys a victory. But I'm just telling you right now, I don't know. I, the true read seems like people, most people are fine with me. Just, you know, it's not permanent. But just taking a step back from playing defense. Because I can tell you right now, it's so much calmer. It's just way, 
more enjoyable for me to just just play it on offense because defense is I don't know there's just not much there right now for me to want to play defense in terms of like it being fun and like for, like again it's just sacks are fun turnovers are fun but like the fact that it's either I'm getting one of those or they're getting a big time play every single time it's not the balance that I want for my gameplay while I'm playing so and it, you know it, it, it'll come back it, it might just be you know, I'm not I'm not feeling defense right now and, and we're handing over Kellen Moore handing over those defensive play calling duties for the time being anyway we still could get the job done it wasn't like that's like finding a way to like oh he's just doesn't get out of defense so he can win more games just lost but I think I think like that's a good fun middle ground there. It's like if we're playing defense, I'll just narrate the big plays that are happening, react as they do happen, and we just try to you know score as many points as possible on offense. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, as always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Trying to work our way up to 150k. We'll love to get a thousand likes on today's video. Tomorrow will be a brand new realistic rebuild. So make sure you stay tuned to your sub boxes. There, I am about half hour away. From watching on one screen here, Canada take on Mexico for World Cup qualifying. For you know, if you don't know, I would I would say the only thing that rivals my fandom for the Eagles is Canada and soccer. So this is awesome. Can't wait. Hopefully they don't lose like we did against Baltimore. But uh, I'm sure you'll find out in the rebuild that's going to be out tomorrow, which I'm going to record right after this Canada Mexico game. If I'm happy in that, Canada probably won. From down the dumps, probably lost. But uh, that is all for next time. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.